Budget fight in Knox County is pitting the mayor against the sheriff. The mayor is proposing an 8% raise for deputies. The sheriff's wants 30% and the difference is about $14 million in a billion dollar budget. 10 News reporter Grace King joins us live from that meeting with the latest now. Grace. Well, Robin and John, the sheriff made an emotional plea to commissioners tonight, starting with videos of an officer getting assaulted in the jail, then moving to audio of two officers being ambushed back in 1991. He hopes that'll give them a glimpse at the daily risk these officers give and why they deserve a bigger raise. Now, the commissioners say now the commissioners say they don't know what they don't know that won't change their minds. They know that these officers work hard every single day, but that they're not going to listen to emotions in this case, as that will cost them millions more dollars. They're grilling the sheriff right now on exactly what those raises would go to. But like you said, that difference is millions of dollars. Take a listen to what the sheriff had to say. But I want to make sure that we take care of these people. Most of all, we got to take care of this county. And if these men and women can't take care of the county, who are we going to rely on? And I'm going to work to the last day I'm in office to make sure that this community is the best community. You hear the mayor talk about this is the best community to work, live, and play. Now, both commissioners and Sheriff Spangler are referencing a recent survey from the University of Tennessee. It shows the average starting correctional officer pay in Tennessee is $16.24 an hour. Knox County is well above that at $18.97 an hour. Both of them are using it to advocate for or against that 30% raise. So it'll be interesting to see where those lines of questioning go. Now, also, the sheriff says he's willing to give up 58 open positions, 50 corrections, 8 patrol if those 30 percent raises are approved. Now, when Mayor Glenn Jacobs proposed that 8% raise, he also expected the sheriff to give up those 58 positions. The sheriff says he won't do that unless the 30% raises are approved, which means that could only be a 3% raise for those correction officers, according to the sheriff. And of course, this meeting is still going. Commissioners are just starting their questions after watching those videos and hearing from Sheriff Spangler. We'll keep you updated on the night beat. Being live at the city county building for us. Grace, thank you. We